Talking about firsts. I talk a lot about firsts, so we're going to continue talking about firsts. I think talking about firsts not only is a great way of sharing your story, but it is an absolutely wonderful way of allowing the newer generation to learn about our profession and to also be a little bit more comfortable with the scariness that goes on in our, in our job. Today's first is talking about the first time that you had to perform CPR on a real live blood in their veins circulating patient. All of us go through basic life support. All of us have to go through that. As a student nurse, i almost positive most people take it while they're a student. If you're not taking it as a student, you will take it once you go into your first job. Pretty sure we all take it in, in, in school. When was the first time you actually put theory into practice? Instead of working on a mannequin that did that click, 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 because that's so realistic. When did you actually push on a patient's chest? When's the first time that you heard the cracking of the ribs? For me, the very first time that I did CPR on a real human being, I was a student nurse, had only been in school for maybe a year-ish, less than a year, standing in the hallway, elevator doors open up and a patient literally is coding in the hallway, being whisked down into the ICU and I just so happen to be standing in the right place or the wrong place, the right place at the right time and the intensivist who was shuttling the patient down, pointed at me and said, hey, you, you can do CPR. And I was like, uh -huh, yeah, I can do CPR. And I, I jump on the cart, straddle the patient, and I'm doing chest compressions like in the movies. Chest compressions on a human being while they're actively resuscitating the patient, rolling in the ICU, did chest compressions until they got a pulse back, and once they got a pulse back, they were able to resuscitate the patient. I can't honestly tell you what happened after that. I was so, I was so glassy-eyed after the experience because, you know, that was the first time that I actually put my hands on a patient's chest and compressed their rib cage. It was a eye-opening experience. I'm pretty sure that experience is partly responsible for me ending up in the ICU and being the nurse that I am and transitioning into being the NP now and being a part of the intensivists. It was all a bit surreal and it happened so fast that I didn't get to think about it until after the fact. Being the adrenaline junkie I am, I thought it was the coolest thing ever not to the patient not for the patient of course but freaking cool for me I've gone on to do countless more of those I honestly cannot tell you how many times I've actually compressed the patient's chest now but I'm curious from the tribe when's the first time you laid hands palm on the sternum and compress the chest when was the first time that you actually felt or heard that rib cracking? Because I know I've talked about it before, and if you don't know, go scroll back through my videos. But I have already talked about when you deliver proper, correct, and effective chest compressions, you will crack a rib, you will hear that crunchy sound. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, check your own pulse first. Thank you.